What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Kings and Queens. I am the Eva Monroe and today we are actually sitting in our brand new master suite. So you guys know I have been absent from YouTube for nearly the past month. I haven't really been here on a consistent basis. I haven't been regular because we completely renovated our master bedroom. So let me tell you, let me give you a little bit of history about this situation. Our master bedroom was actually 10 by 12 and it was the worst room in our house. And every room in this house I have poured my heart and soul into. We used to have a guest bedroom and our guests called it the white room. And when we had guests from out of town, our guests would literally fight over who was gonna sleep in the white room because it was just that beautiful. It was simply gorgeous. Everything in it was just pure white. The walls were white. It was like a luxury hotel. And I had never done anything to our bedroom. We had this 10 by 12 room. The furniture was too big. The only thing we had in it was a huge bed and a huge dresser and my husband had a nightstand. So I would literally come into our bedroom at bedtime, go to sleep, get up in the morning and leave. I never spent time in our room. It was too small, it was too congested, and it appeared to be the only room that didn't even belong in this house. So I had a vision. I wanted our master bedroom to be very sexy. I wanted it to be a place where my husband and I could come and relax and chill and do us. I wanted there to be things that we loved surrounding us and just gorgeousness. But the main thing was I wanted it to feel like we were sleeping in a five star hotel every single night. So that beautiful white room that our guests used to fight to sleep in, we got rid of it. We knocked down the walls. We actually took out two full length closets, two really large closets, and one of our guest bedrooms. We just tore the walls down and we turned it all into this room that I'm sitting in now, which is our master suite. So two things make this space very, very special. Everything that I'm about to show you guys is so very special for, for two reasons. Reason number one, because my husband and I did everything ourselves. The demolition, putting the walls back up, building another closet, flooring, drywall, taping, mudding, painting. My husband and I did all of that ourselves. Everything that you are about to see in this room are all repurposed items. The only thing that we brought into this room brand spanking new was the flooring, of course, because all of the rooms that we took out had carpet in them, um, and two light fixtures. Everything else I trolled around on letgo.com, offerup.com, and everything in between and I found the furniture, the sofa and the love seat that I'm gonna show you guys. Some of the items I refinished, I refinished our bedroom furniture. Um, I went to other rooms in the house and stole items. <laughs> I went shopping in my garage. My garage is an amazing place to go shopping, I figured out. So this room was done with tons and tons of love and I'm excited to share this process with you guys. Um, I'm going to add some video of what the demolition looked like. It, it was a, a complete wreck. Um, you guys are going to see me in a state that you've never seen me in before, but let me show you around. Okay. Welcome to what used to be our master bedroom. <laughs> Actually, I'm standing in what used to be the guest bedroom and separating our guest bedroom there was a closet here a long closet here and 
there was on the back side of that would have been another long closet and then our what was supposed to have been a master bedroom but it was a teeny teeny tiny bathroom that door right there is our master bathroom so where you see this stud directly right there that used to be the cutoff the entry to the guest bedroom was right there and the entry to the master was across from it we tore out everything in here we moved the placement of the door to you will now walk down the end of the hall to enter our what is getting ready to be a master suite not a bedroom but a suite so let me show you how much space we're going to have here um, i'm really excited to take you guys on this journey with me okay so this section right here was what we had just this over here and so now we're going to have all of this and all of this over here so my vision is to do something really dark and sexy i'm thinking of putting the bed somewhere over here we're actually going to build a closet back here and then this over here is actually going to be turned into a seating area so i want to put like a small sofa a fireplace the tv i just want to make it hot so right now we are working on removing all of the studs all this carpet is coming out and this is the flooring that's in the rest of our house this was actually this little piece right here this was the hallway all the way down to here so we stole some of the hallway so we are actually going to bring this flooring over the entire room so i am actually going to be going out today to find this flooring if not this flooring something very very close because i actually called and um that flooring is no longer available so i have to find something close so i'm coming I, if i come out the door here you will see the hallway right here and again the hallway used to come all the way down to here see my little toes but we chopped it off and so now instead of our master bedroom door being on the left it is dead center so stick around for this Okay, so this is the seating area. And this sofa is the sofa that I told you guys I scored brand spanking new from OfferUp.com. Um, an elderly couple had actually bought this set brand new and they ended up moving in with their children and they had no room for it. So we scored it and you guys would not believe how much we paid for the sofa and the love seat initially i had plans to only put a love seat in this space but i felt like we actually had enough room so i went with the sofa and the love the picture above the sofa 
I actually scored that from the Goodwill probably about three or four years ago and it was hanging in our guest bedroom so it ended up in here. Now there's a mannequin. We have a mannequin in every room in our house because I like mannequins. I just I love to utilize them in my decor in some form or fashion. So I have a little tray with some wine, a little furry bench that acts as a coffee table and of course an ottoman, something we can put our feet on. I like to use everything we have in our house. So I don't like to have a bunch of stuff that we don't actually use. Now we'll swing around to the television. We have our television here and our fake fireplace. <laughs> uh, a real one was not in the bouge for this room. So it almost seems as if our television is too large for this space. And it probably is, but the hubby loves to have big TV. So we put that one in here. And it's a really nice ambiance at night. So there you have it. I'm looking for something to put above the TV. I feel like there's wall space there and it needs to be utilized. Okay, so now we come over here and this is the love seat. I have actually just utilized lots of pillows that I already had around the house. I told you guys I stole things out of other rooms. I think I actually only bought like two brand new throw pillows for this room. So there you have it. Now this lady over here in the corner. I picked her up off of Amazon and she is just a canvas print so I actually went to Michael's and got myself a clearanced out frame popped her in it and there you have it I think she fits in the space nicely so over here I have a mirror that was once upon a time it was hanging in our um, hallway so I just stuck it in here I put a beautiful philodendron over there in the corner because I love to have plants in every room I feel like it always adds something special to the space so moving right along I did a lot of DIY projects in this space as well. Um, so the um, gold vase up there, I actually DIY'd it. I'm not sure why the dresser looks red. I don't know what the light is reflecting. Oh, it's reflecting from the fireplace. So I DIY'd that vase there. Um, I refinished it. I'll, I'll try to pop a picture of it in here. Of course, the bedroom furniture initially was oak. And I know original wood lovers, please don't let me have it. Um, I refinished it because I was actually going to get rid of it, but I decided to keep it. The lamp is from Lowe's. It's that um, the two gentlemen that have the home decorating show on HGTV, it's from their line of stuff. Now these little gold things here, I actually picked those up at Target. They were just bare wood. And I hung them, I spray painted them gold, I hung them up and I did not love them. And so I found the candle holders in my garage and I decided to pop those in the middle add a candle and I feel like it gave it a really nice touch so I really like those 
There's one on each side of the bed. Now let's talk about the light in this space. Um, so I bought this light from Lowe's. We found this and the light was about $120. So we hung it up there and I thought that it was just missing something. And I didn't know what though. So I was like, it just, maybe I need to get a different one. But I actually ended up purchasing some chandelier crystals and I hung those on it. And I feel like it gives it a much better look. Let me turn it on. So really, really nice. So I've done the bed in all white linen because I love white linen. I feel like it just, you always, you're always going to make sure you're just extremely squeaky clean before you climb in it. It feels luxurious and rich and especially when it's good linen, I always feel like you cannot go wrong with white linen. All of the drapes in here are from Target. Most of them I already owned and I did add some more shears. Okay, so right now we're looking in the mirror. Um, that is actually my husband's closet. So we had these mirror doors in our bedroom and in our guest bedroom. And initially my plan was to get rid of them. But I said, you know what, maybe they will make our space look a little bit bigger. So I created this little nook space over here for the bed and they added a nice touch. So all I did was I actually framed them out with door molding just to give it a kind of like framed mirror look. Now the gold pictures hanging up on either side I scored those from a consignment shop for about a whopping five bucks and one says New York and the other says London. Just They just add a nice little flair to the space. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Just a nice little touch. Alright, so these candle holders that you see here, these floor candle holders. So that is, those are a DIY project. And I actually have one on either side. And what those were was we had four tall posts on our bed. And I took two of them off because I didn't like the look of the four. I felt like it just consumed too much of the space. And I was gonna throw them away. But then I said, no, cause the queen don't throw nothing away. I can use those. So I had my hubby cut off some dowels that were sticking in the middle of them. I stained them black. I glued the candle holders on them, added some white candles, and I feel like they look absolutely stunning. I love them. Gorgeous. So this sofa table here, um, is actually another repurposed item. It was actually in our guest bedroom and it is technically a TV stand. And I just refinished it and I put it in here as a sofa table or actually in the case it's being used as a love seat table. And I just put a few little things that I adore on the top of it. There are towels just like white linen, just like sheets and blankets and pillows, you must have white towels, right? And there's some bottles of wine underneath there. And I have just added some little, pretty little things that I like. The brass duck, which I've had for many, many years. The candle, of course, there's gotta be a photo of the hubby and I. And some um, faux grass. That is faux. So thank you guys so much for joining me in our new lovely space, which 
I am absolutely obsessed with. I love it. My husband loves it. 